Let us try to understand scalar projection from this example. The scalar projection of A on B is 8. If the length of A is 11, then what is the angle to the nearest degree between A and B? So what we are given here is two vectors A and B, where scalar projection of A on B, that means we can write scalar projection as this symbol. So projection of A on B is equal to 8. So that is a scalar projection of A on B. We are also given here length of vector A. That means magnitude of A is equal to 11. So this is what we are given. What we need to find is the angle between A and B. So let that angle be theta. So this theta is something which we need to find. Now let's figure it out how. It's a good idea to sketch and we'll sketch B along the horizontal line. So we say let this be our vector B. Now vector A is at an angle of theta, let us say. So this is our vector A. And let us assume this angle to be theta, which we need to find. When we say that the scalar projection of A on B is 8, we really mean that if I drop a perpendicular from here, let's say this point is N, and let's say this point is O, then O N is equal to 8. So when we say scalar projection of A on B is 8, that implies that from our diagram, O N equals to 8. That's what it means. Now we need to find the angle theta, right? Now as you can see, this is a right triangle. Now in this right triangle side shown by the red line, let me say this point is A, vector is o, OA or A whose magnitude is 11, right? So this side is 11 for us. Now what is ON? If you solve this right triangle, we know ON over OA is equals to cos of theta, correct? On is the scalar projection of A on B, which is given to us as 8. So we have 8 over 11 equals to cos of theta. Now from here we can find what theta is, right? So theta is equals to cos inverse of 8 over 11. So let's use calculator and figure it out. So it is second function cos inverse within brackets 8 divided by 11 bracket close equals to 43.34. Now this could be rounded to nearest degree. So we'll round this to nearest degree. It becomes 43 degrees. So that is our angle answer right so the answer is the angle between vector a and b is 43 degrees so go through this solution once again and understand what scalar projection is so for any vector as shown here oa scalar projection is the cosine component of the vector so that is how we calculate i hope you appreciate it thank you and all the best